fade. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the AWS Blogger, where I try to bring you some really awesome interactive podcasts. And as you know, I'm a big fan of OBS Ninja. I have a special edition here for you real quick. I have Steve Seguin, the developer of OBS Ninja, to talk about the recent release of 13.4. Now, I'm going to bring Steve in here in one second. And then, of, of course, I've got to make a little bit of fun of uh, YouTube. Too. So let's bring Steve in. Steve, how are you? Hey, John. I'm doing great, man. Thank you for having me. Yes, thanks for joining. I really appreciate this. So, you know, I said I got to make fun of YouTube here. And the reason I do have to is because the video, we did this already. This is like deja vu to us. Take two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually, we streamed this unlisted last week, last Wednesday before the holiday. And I was going to post it out over the weekend. And the video is still processing. So guess what? You guys get a second edition of this. If both of them become available, great. You got us times two. I uh, love it. All right, let's get right into it because we only have about 15 minutes. I want to talk about the recent release of 13.4. Steve, you want to sh start sharing some of the features? Yeah, so the release notes are pretty comprehensive and they're on Reddit or on the main page. You can link to them. But some of the, the highlights, uh, we have a director's private chat to the performer. And you can toggle that as a full screen overlay so that you can do very large font shoutouts. Um, I can demonstrate that, or I can go through the list. Uh, you know what? Demonstrate it, and then we'll we'll run back through a couple of the items. Okay, so uh, for this, I have the, the room, op room open here in OBS Ninja, and I already have a feed of myself in. Now there's a button called Message we can press, and I can say, hey, uh, get ready to go live. There's a toggle button here if you want to make it an overlay or not, um, and send. And what we see here is, as a performer, I get the message showing up. Uh, and it will fade after about five seconds. So, Steve, I really like this feature because, as you remember, when you release the the whole UI and the transfer button, you know that was a game changer for me because what it allowed me to do was transfer from one director to another. This just adds on to it and allows me to say to a participant, hey, listen, you're about to go live, transferring you over to another person to manage you. I mean, that's a great communication. It's a pop-up. Nobody else needs to see that. that. That is an awesome feature, in my opinion. Awesome. I, I, it was quite requested, so pretty awesome. Um, the, 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 the group room has another feature. It's not quite as easy to demonstrate, but it's something called a broadcast flag. You add that in, and it will automatically uh, set the, the broadcast up um, so that if you choose to output OBS to your group, your group will only see the director's feed. So you could go through here, select uh, your OBS virtual camera, and once this is set, all the guests in the room, uh, if we had the broadcast flag on, here we're going, we'll now only see um, that, that feed. What are a couple of the use cases for that one? Because that's actually another interesting one. And that's only showing me as a director's feed or... Right. That, so that's pretty good. All the participants can still chat uh, with each other who, who are in the room, they can all chat. Uh, the director though is the only one who can publish video to the room. And the idea there is performers, as you start getting into room sizes of 10 to 20, uh, because it's a mesh network, the performers have to share their video with everyone who's in the room. And people on older computers or weak networks can't keep up. So in this sense, uh, I can use my OBS output to mix everyone who's in the room uh, into OBS, then reshare it as like a, a pre-mixed uh, stream to the room. That way, everyone can still see the show, everyone can still see each other, but they're not they're not the ones having to share their video with everyone in the room. And this flag just sets it up automatically for that use case. Uh, I'd imagine that's a little bit less uh, CPU intense, correct? It's 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 less intense for everyone except for the OBS director. Yeah. Um, but the idea is you're a producer, you can you have an eight core computer 
And then you can then host a show of 20 people, 16 core computer, you could do like 40 people. Um, you know, all for free, all for high quality, all low latency. And the quality into OBS will be, you know, uh, competitive with any other platform. All right. So you mentioned it all for free and I have to do it. I have to say, because I know you don't like to OBS Ninja is completely free for use. Now everybody thinks, why is this not an enterprise, you know, solution or why isn't, you know, one of those big companies actually own this one. This was developed for you by Steve for the community, for everybody that uses it. He saw a need and he's filling that need here with OBS Ninja. Now, granted, I do have to let everybody know, and I'm going to put the plug in here. I know you don't know, buy Steve some coffee, donate to it. I'll put the, <laughs> the the chat in here. I like donating to it because I'll tell you what, I use it for everything. In fact, it was a game changer for me and I probably would not be streaming today if it wasn't for OBS Ninja because I was trying to run OBS from my local workspace and capture other chat programs and bring those in. And it was totally, it was hosing my laptop. His was a game changer and it has allowed me to grow professionally. So I'm a huge fan of it. Please look at it, donate, drop something in there. Hey, five bucks, coffee. Coffee's always good. Trust me, that that's worth its weight in gold. I, I appreciate it. The project's a passion project. There are expenses, but uh, I, I'd be doing it regardless. Um, in the community, especially in this era of lockdowns, uh, it, it's just too important not to work on. Um, yeah, uh, there's, there's what other one you got here. Uh, I know there was a lot of good changes here, additions that you've added. The Czech language translation was another contribution by the community, correct? Yeah, so in the, in the bottom, you get access to different languages. Um, so that, that's an option. Uh, let's see if it actually works. So, yeah, you can translate uh, that way pretty easily and translate back. Uh, so that was an addition. Uh, there's the file sharing. I don't know if you want to talk about that. <laughs> uh, the, thanks for putting me on the spot here. So listen, <laughs> a side project, another side project here was OBS Ninja file share. And the idea behind it, uh, was really to start sharing like maybe some home videos and home movies, uh, you know, with anybody, you share them the link, just like you would do with OBS Ninja and you would able to watch those movies together. You control play and pause and playback. Well, what Steve did is he added a feature to queue up files, right? Or what was the additions that you added? Yeah, so uh, you can now select a file or multiple files and it will stream those video files to everyone in the room or to ever, anyone who you wanna share the link with. And that way you can kind of uh, watch a movie together legally, um, you know, whatever open source movies there are, um, or stream open source audio, uh, you know. Uh, I dropped that file share link. I dropped actually a bunch of links, the release notes, the donation, the file share one uh, within our chat. I'll also post them into the comment sections. Uh, you know, the file share one, I, I really liked because I, I just thought of a way that you can share maybe some of those videos that you've you've made of your kids playing soccer or an event that's happening. And you all want to watch at the same time. Uh, one that I like to share out is a co-host of mine and a good colleague, David Smith, of him at reInvent that uh, he falls over the track. And <laughs> I did that in my video. So you <laughs> got to have a little fun. It's a hidden feature. Um, you do need to know the URL to add it. Um, in, in future versions... Oh, wait a second. I just dropped that in the chat. Was that all right? <laughs> oh, yeah, now no, it's no, not no, hidden no. anymore. I just publicly <laughs> announced it. <laughs> like it, it, It's not really a, a core feature, but I've gotten so many requests for it. Um, and I've seen other use... I've seen use cases for it. People have been needing it for... Um, DJs want to want to live stream their their music, and this way they can um, create a playlist of their music and stream it that way. So that's something that was in demand. Um, yeah. yeah. So Steve, uh, I think in the last time in our deja vu one, we were talking about the iOS device and some of the features that you made around there. Correct uh, about sharing the video or not was one of those. Oh, okay. 
Um, yeah, yeah. See, I do remember last Wednesday <laughs> uh, some of the events. I think that's another important feature in this release, correct? Yeah. So there, there's another important feature. I almost forgot about it. Uh, yeah, I, iOS devices in this new release um, will will support a lower a preview stream in the dire in the dir director's room, uh, as well as all the participants are going to be able to see an iOS device preview in, in older versions, the iOS device um, did, didn't have the greatest preview or didn't have a preview at all. And the director room in particular was, was troublesome. Uh, in this current release now, 3.14, 3.13.4, you can change the quality of the resolution of the, the preview as a director. So you can turn it off, you can turn it to low, or you can turn it to high. And so depending on your needs, you can control that. This feature is new. It also now works with iOS and the ability to record high resolution video of an iOS feed um, is unlocked because of that. Be before you couldn't record high res uh, iOS feeds from the director room. Now, I think that's a really important feature because I've talked about some of the uh, hidden prefixes that you drop in there, like uh, force iOS and, uh, I think this really kind of allows more control into the director area. Plus I like the record feature. It does rec uh, allow you to download it shortly afterwards. Uh, there you go. Uh, so that's one of the other ones. The other thing that I wanted to mention, and I, I was mentioning about uh, the donation is that you actually, things have grown and you've had to spin up a new turn server, correct? Yeah, uh, I've actually spun up two since we last, well, <laughs> since this update uh yeah so there's there's one in chicago now there's one in la so that's two new u.s centric servers uh, you know based on um watching server usage I've, I've seen that the u.s is a hot spot right now so i've had to increase capacity there uh something like 600 terabytes of bandwidth i bought for the turn server in, in those two areas um 600 terabytes per month so, you know, it just hopefully that lasts a few months. Um, but I service is growing so fast that that bandwidth is going to be used up eventually. I, I agree with you. I'm probably one of those people that uses a lot of it uh, just because of the nature and the coolness of it. So, you know, Steve, I'm, I'm going through the re release notes here. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we kind of close some things out? Uh, you can all, always peek at the upcoming version, the beta, uh, for example, or the alpha. Um, you know, the alpha is here. Just go to OBS Ninja slash alpha or slash beta. And you know, I'm the alpha is more experimental. I'm, I'm playing with features like um, there's the share file is hidden. <laughs> I um, like that. There's a new feature I'm working on called share a website, so you can share a YouTube video to a group room or something like that. So it's not a, it's not a streamed video, but it's the actual website, and that's going to unlock um, broadcasting support. Um, the speed test has been being developed right now. There's lots and lots going on there. Uh, the guides, um, more languages have been added. Yeah, so this is this will be a sneak peek of the upcoming version, um, but it's all in development, being debugged. All right, so slash beta slash alpha. There are some fun ones to do. Don't forget, uh, you know, if you join Discord, you can go ahead. There's a awesome group there for OBS Ninja. A lot of uh, communication. Correct, Steve. That's how you and I chat. Yeah, Discord is is the easiest, most fluid way for me to chat, um, but I, I'm accessible anyway. Uh, I put myself out there for that. Yeah, uh, so that that's pretty cool. Uh, one last thing I want to talk about is features, feature requests. I'm working on an awesome project coming up here for AWS reInvent, and I'm streaming a lot of things going on. And one of the things I noticed is that the chat within the window there for all your guests kind of pop up on the screen. And as you talk, it overlays onto the top. Some of the things I talked about there. Oh, is that the chat? Look. Look at that. Oh, let's see that comes up there. One of the things I wanted was a pop out for chat. That way I can have that on a different screen and look at the chat going on. That is perfect. It, it's not it's not done yet, but I, I, I yeah, took your feedback. But it's, a work, uh, 
it's a work in progress, but it's pop out and it's in sync. So we'll see. But that, that should be available in the next release. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. Oh man, you just couldn't resist working on that one. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. I really appreciate it. This is one of the features that I was looking for. And the reason it was is because while you have like four, five, six people in the room, the chat was overlaying the people in the conversation. If you're doing a screen share, the chat was overlaying on the screen share, and then you were kind of losing your focus. What I wanted to do was move the chat onto another monitor and monitor the chat that's happening. So that way we can still see the screen share if you're a commentator or talking about a current thing. I presented this to Steve. You put it on GitHub. I think we got plus one when we talked yeah. about this last Wednesday. I'm not sure where we're at now. But how do you, you know, how do you suggest feature requests? I know you go to Git, but if I want to suggest another one, what are you what's the method? Uh, uh Git is Git is great. Um uh, I sometimes I might be a little bit slow to reply to you and and have a conversation there but that way it's kind of static uh if you come on to discord you can make a feature request there i can kind of understand what the problem you're trying to solve is yeah, i can make a fit, uh, feature request myself or after we talk you can make one yourself on git if i if i don't work on the feature after a week or two uh, i suggest you just poke me um normally the more people who poke me the certain features what drives me to develop it um you know the more popular and more re required features i'll work on first uh you know what you do it the same method that aws does is that we take all our feature requests pretty much from all our customers and what happens is if you keep asking the same thing over and over everybody does it gets bubbled to the top because it's built for you for the community the customer i love how you're following that uh, just the same or we're following you however it may be but you're the community, everybody's kind of uh, suggesting these and what they're looking for and need because he's not developing this for his own need, he's developing this for you. And I love it. Awesome. So, so Steve, uh, is there anything else you'd like to add before we close it out? Uh, I'll probably think of something in 20 minutes, but I'm good for now. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, no problem. It happens. So, Steve, I'd like to thank you for joining me for the second time as we try to do this. Hopefully, second time is the charm. If not a third time, we're just going to record it and I'll just have to post it out. But I like doing it live. So, Steve, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I look forward to the next releases that we will share live. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. All right. Have yourself a good one, Steve. Bye-bye.